it's not unusual to see a student athlete at Florida State doing a Skype interview with the national media. However, when that interview is with Jim Cantori and Stephanie Abrams of the Weather Channel, that's unique. It's really like almost humbling to see how far it's come for me, uh, especially in the past couple of years. Walk-on basketball player Harrison Prieto grew up fascinated by the weather. Like whenever I was growing up, there were several hurricanes that came through South Louisiana, tropical storms and stuff. And I remember sitting there, this was even before Katrina on my front porch, or my neighbor's front porch actually. And we would watch the trees fall during the storms and stuff. And then I think when Katrina came through, that was kind of like hook, line, sinker. It had me literally by the mouth. There was nothing that I was going to get in my way of like figuring out what was going on. Especially when I went and visited his family up in uh, Mandeville, Louisiana. I, I visited with uh, his whole family and they were telling us all these stories about how he had mapped out, like he would map out weather storms when he was a young kid and all types of stuff like that. And I just, from there on, I, I knew he really liked it. Nothing has changed for Prieto, except the fact that he now has a vehicle for his love through the Florida State Meteorology Program. Head and clears out, and then we're going to start cooling down as we get into the nighttime hours. It's so cool to be able to like go in and do the, the weather casting stuff, because you grow up watching all the people on TV, and you're like, man, it'd be cool to do that. Balancing basketball and the math and physics that come with his degree is difficult but Prieto believes basketball has helped him in the classroom. Coach Gates always, he says discipline is a lifestyle, not a light switch. So you, it's not something you can turn on and off. So with basketball, you know, having to be disciplined, staying on top of schoolwork, you know, still being able to show up to practice, being everywhere on time, it makes it hard because you have to juggle everything. You have to be, you know, time management, huge. But at the same time, it kind of makes it easier because you're naturally kind of regimented with, you know, your daily life. Harrison's passion is seen through his words, through his work ethic, through his sacrifices, and, and it's definitely a great thing to support him. And his coaches and teammates have shown their full support. And seeing it unravel and seeing him on the news all the time, I, I mean, he's a really smart guy and he's one of my best friends, so it's good to see him like that. I was very excited when I saw his first meteorologist report uh, live on, uh, I think it was on the FSU Weather Instagram or uh, their Twitter page and I played it over and over. I'm probably responsible for a thousand of those views <laughs> alone because I just played it over and over because I was so proud of them. Prieto also believes that forecasting and basketball have more in common than you'd think. You know, all the experts come out with their, their brackets for March Madness and it's always funny to me because if we ever, you know, a meteorologist ever made a forecast that wrong, they would be ridiculed for it. You know, predicting the future is hard and uh, the, you know, these experts come out and, and they're never close, you know, so it's just kind of, it's just kind of funny to me whenever I see it from both perspectives, but, all right, so I'll make fun of us now, but I've seen your March Madness brackets. Hopefully there will be a bracketologist out there forecasting a deep run for Prieto and the Seminoles. Lanehartseminoles.com.